Vampires, the mysterious and terrifying hunters of the night. Legends and tales follow them across the world, but many seem old, outdated, obsolete. These immortal creatures must have also had to adapt to the constantly changing world of today. How do vampires live today in the modern world? That's what we explore tonight in the modern life of a vampire. Of course, some myths are still true and are thriving more than ever. But which ones no longer hold water? Hey, come out, Pin. Oh yeah, of course. For example, mirrors used to be backed in silver, which is why vampires could not see their reflection. As time went on, mirror makers began to use a cheaper alternative, aluminum, to back mirrors. One might guess the shock that this caused to vampires everywhere. There was something between my teeth. As time has gone on, vampires have always had to create new ways of hunting their victims. Gone are the days of waiting for someone to show up at their castle or stalking the local villages. Gualtierio Lemot, an infamous vampire salesman, had his own unique way of hunting his victims. Your best coverage for an earthquake. Thank you. You're welcome only to fall to the changing language. Hi, am I speaking to the woman in the household? Uh, yes. Well, I represent Purdue Earthquake Insurance, and as you can see, your house is directly on a fault line. Oh, okay. Now, this could be very dangerous for uh, raising a family. Well, thank you. No problem. Anyway, so as I was saying... Some might say that vampires are old hat, old news, but one cannot blame vampires for the incessant amount of teen books and movies that have been flooding the media as of late. We have sat down with a vampire in order to get their take on the current portrayal of vampires. We vampires were not bothered by the tales of mortals. In fact, the folklore and myths only made people more scared of us, which was great. Dracula and Carmilla weren't horrible, but it wasn't until that Anne Rice asshole came around that things started getting bad. Things tied down until it happened. I decided to watch it. It didn't look too bad. What a fool I was. I was horrified, terrified, grossed out. Frankly, it's insulting. Now vampire movies and books and TV shows are everywhere. No one's afraid of us anymore. Goth kids pretend to be us. Preteens keep watching these shows. These are dark times we are in. That is all for today on The Modern Life of a Vampire. Join us next time as we explore the modern life of a witch. All these fake witches out here.